During my first year of college, I started to have my first symptoms of MS. I was reading a book, um, doing homework, and I started to realize that I couldn't see out of my left eye. It wasn't until almost three years after that, during my senior year in college, um, that I received my official diagnosis of multiple sclerosis. Biogen is known for multiple sclerosis. Historically, it was known for being a primarily Caucasian disease. We realized there are, in fact, minorities and individuals who had not been considered that have the disease. What's really interesting is when you dig into the data, you see that minorities have a tendency to have more severe disease. Now, that could be from a number of reasons, which includes later diagnosis. As I think back to why it almost took you know, a neurologist almost three years to officially diagnose me. I, I do think me being a woman of color, but also a young woman of color played a role into that. At Biogen, we have a two-pronged effort, which is what can we do right now to make sure that everyone has access to our therapies? What should we be doing in the long term? We keep evolving those topics to have cultural competence, especially when we trying to educate and we have our health equity uh, corporate initiative. We want to make sure that um, providers are educated and cultural competence when they're seeing patients. We take the time to bring a patient group together and say, listen, we want to hear from you. What is it that we need to do in order to address your needs? So one thing that I would want for medical providers to know when working with patients is that it is also your duty as a medical provider to take the necessary steps to make sure that you are acting in a way that progresses their overall health outcomes. So when thinking about COVID and the racial protests that are happening right now, I'm extremely optimistic about the change that is going to come in reimagining what our health system looks like. Because now it's really not voices of just black and brown women and men really pushing for this change. And I think we're really starting to see more folks wanting to partake in those type of conversations.